So I've been thinking about, uh, you know, some of the games you play where uh, you're out in the wilderness and you come across like the big standing stones that glow and like a place of, you know, great worship and places where people come. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, we can maybe put something really cool together here. Maybe some LED lights, maybe not. That's okay. And I'm going to use a little resin and yeah, place of power. So I got these uh, 20 um, LED light strands from the dollar store. Now, keep in mind how big these uh, battery packs are. I kind of lost track of that in the long run here, but uh, you'll see how it all works out. And I went with uh, about a six by six um, square to start. And I'm using one inch um, XPS foam. Uh, beveled down the edges a little bit. And of course, then I slice myself and with a little bit of first aid later, we're good to go. And uh, here in the center, I'm thinking we'll have like a, maybe a standing place or somewhere where you can um, converge all the energy with like maybe some resonating um, glowing liquid that's kind of surrounding it and like, like a, a trough or something like that. Um, I started off cutting this out kind of like this. You guys will see that I kind of changed my, my gears a little bit um, as we move forward. Now, if you're not using the LED lights, this actually probably this setup here with the way we're doing it will probably work out just perfect dug down the sides a little bit so we can pour a little bit of resin in it of course and i'm going to add a stair at the back side so that you can kind of step up to the um, the place where you stand to uh, have all that energy converge i'm continuing to um bevel down the sides and kind of dig out that trench a little bit more trying to figure this out now i don't plan my things out very well i kind of just get an idea draw it out and then kind of go to it so you'll notice in some of my videos that i end up having to redo stuff or undo stuff but anyways here's that better battery pack that we were talking about i'm thinking it's got to go in the center right underneath the standing place and i'm going to cut out some cardboard here some well it's a ritz box anyways and think about where i'm going to place this overall Cut that out, being very careful not to cut yourself like I did, of course. And remember that the battery pack has a sliding on and off uh, top, so that's gonna be, you're gonna have to make um, adjustments for that. Now as for the standing stones, they just need to be rough stone um, shapes, however you want them to look. Could be triangular, could be square, could be rectangle. Now I decided because of the size and the depth of that battery pack that that centerpiece had to go. If you're not using this, you probably can continue on as it was, but um, the inch uh, XPS foam was a little thick for what I needed. So I ended up kind of hewing it down a little bit, maybe about halfway. So a half inch XPS foam, if you're gonna work with this, would work just fine. I have lots of this one inch stuff on hand, so I use it for most of uh, my stuff. Continuing to figure out kind of like some of the stones and then eventually I'm gonna have to work on some placements, but uh, you know, Nice and rough, man. It's just kind of getting an idea and a feel. Now, I'm going to put lights in these, so I end up splitting them. Um, I took about a half inch off the front side. Now, you could just split them right in half. I think it would be just fine using a Proxon uh, wire cutter on the side there, but you could do this with a knife just as easy and kind of just figure it out. Now, with uh, the fronts, I'm going to put on some really cool glowing glyphs. So I punch those out all the way through, and as you can see, you can see right through them. And when you put the light in behind there, you gotta dig this, uh, the back piece out a bit so that there's lots of room for the light. Now, thinking this uh, hindsight's 2020, I should have painted the inside of this black before I put the lights on, but it didn't. I didn't, so it doesn't really matter. It ends up kind of looking cool later anyways. Now, dig little troughs from the centerpiece where you're gonna have those lights. And then I make sure that everything kind of fits. You know, there's a lot of wire with these damn things because, well, there, it's pretty thick wire, so you know it's gonna last a little while, but anyways, I'm just kind of gluing it down so that the LED's just sticking up nice and neat. And then I put the back piece on, it looks like it's fitting pretty good. And then I'm gonna slap that front piece on too. Let's hold it in place real quick. You notice that I like to use my hot glue. It's super quick, super efficient. And if you're careful with it, it doesn't really show through. Now, because the battery pack's still floating, I'm gonna need a place, a way to secure this. I end up using just uh, some uh, really small quarter inch um, dollar store foam. 
um, just to create some walls to all the, obviously to raise up the centerpiece, but also to contain the resin for when I do pour it. And here's the walkway. So what I'm thinking now is that maybe it's a, an old stone flagstone walkway that's been pushed up just from the immense power that's coming from the ground here. I did give it a bit of an angle and I did kind of do like a little bit of a step on the backside. Now the thing wasn't quite tall enough yet so I ended up uh, just gluing a little piece of uh, foam to the top of the battery pack just to, just to elevate that a little bit more. And then now I'm going to decide where those other stones are going to be and I'm going to figure it out. Now you don't want to glue all the stones down all at once. As you can see on the, uh, well, your right hand side, I'm having kind of a pain in the ass getting those uh, LEDs kind of glued in there. I'm just spacing them out, kind of like overlapping the wire. It's all gonna get covered with the resin anyways, but I'm trying to make sure that none of the bulbs are touching each other. I mean, eventually they're gonna, there's so many of them. But once you get them in there and kind of glued down with the two sticking up for the other stones, it looks like it works out pretty good. I got some of this glow in the dark uh, glass pieces from the dollar store, and I kind of fit them into the uh, glyphs that I carved into the front of them. I thought it would give it kind of a cool geode look. And then I hit everything up with, a, with the old tinfoil ball. I'm gonna carve out um, some of the flagstone by hand, obviously, it's just, it's easier that way. Making sure that, you know, none of them are really all the same and just kind of working it out as best you can. I also carved a glyph on the top. We'll take some watered down PVA glue and some gray paint just so I know I, what I've hit and what I haven't hit. And I'm gonna slather it all over the place. Because of the lights, I can't spray paint this, so I ended up repainting the whole thing with a nice black. Adding a little bit of stone around the outside and spraying it down with some watered down glue. And once that's set, you hit that up. Now you got a dark gray kind of down now, and I'm going over with a light gray now just to kind of do some highlights, probably about a 60%. Then I'm gonna hit it up with a nice uh, light brown. I like to mix cinnamon with uh, that spun gold that I found at the dollar store. It kind of gives it a little bit of a nice color. Go over it again with a little bit more of a, an umber as well. Just do random patches, kind of get it in there. And I love these uh, makeup brushes from the dollar store. I've got a whack load of them because to do the dry brushing, they got to be dry. So hit it up with the white to get some highlights and get them to start popping. Don't worry about overdoing it with the white because I'm going to hit it up with a black wash. Picked up uh, some... Uh, five minute epoxy i'm going to grab some green alcohol ink and some of those that green uh, mica dust and i'm going to mix it all up maybe even throw in some of these glow in the dark glass shards too just to give it some lumpiness and some difference maybe a little bit of texture and just get it in there as best you can now remember you've only got five minutes to work with this it does heat up so just be careful get it in there as best you can and then what i'll do end up doing is using a smaller um, stick just to kind of move it around and get it into the little creases once you're kind of happy with that I think we can move on and uh, go over it once it's dried with this uh, Newland oil that I've made myself is basically floor wax and black ink Geeks Gaming makes a real good version of this. You should check out one of his videos. I'll try to put a link below. And I just hit up everything, man. I love this shit. I mean, I can't imagine having to buy it all the time. And this stuff here is like a really light uh, fluorescent green that I bought from Green Stuff World. It really pops. And as you can see, even without the lights on, that, uh, that green from the Green Stuff World, oh man, that still really looks cool even without the lights on. And with the glow, I think it looks cool. Now, obviously I didn't get everything with the black because some of the blue actually shows through from the styrofoam, but I think it adds to the color. I think it really makes it look cool and makes those stones really pop. Here it is in a, a setting, just a little something I threw together real quick just to show you. I think this turned out pretty cool. I'm super happy with it and I can't wait to try it on my table. Man, and those lights really do help out. I mean, I don't think you really need them. With that green stuff, um, paint that I picked up, man, the green pops anyways, but the lights are just that much better. 
And there's my cat investigating. Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and I'm going to get out another video here pretty quick. So like and subscribe, and thanks very much.